what's going on YouTube? It's your boy. <laughs> it's your boy YCB, man. I'm sorry. I've been laughing for like the past 30 minutes just because I think the topic that we are going to go over today is just hilarious. We are going to be talking about a pitcher and I have been dying for like the past 30 minutes. I swear. It's just so funny to me. Um, today we are talking about one of the red pill gurus one of the bigger ones by he goes by the name jay waller or justin waller and for those of you who do not know he's the he's the guy that always wears like the similar suits they're just in different colors with his like with his chest out and he can never sit like perpendicular to a desk he always has to sit like this and talk like this because this is how you know that he is manly and he is making a strong point and he always has to talk with his hands and just assert himself. Yeah, that guy. He posted something that I personally think is hilarious on Twitter and we are going to talk about it today. But before we get into it, please do me a favor. Do not forget to share, like, and subscribe. It really helps out with the channel. Let me know that you are rocking with the content. And while you're at it, please do me a favor. Follow me on all my social media platforms at WatchTV94. Join the Discord. A link to that will be in the description down below. And follow me on Twitch. I go live every Saturday um, around like 7.15, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. So yeah, follow me on Twitch. All right, with that bullshit out of the way, let me show you guys what I have been laughing at for like for the past 30 minutes. <laughs> This is probably the funniest thing I have seen that has come from a red pillar. Um, so this is this is Justin um, holding what I presume to be his child. Uh, looks like a newborn, obviously, and he is holding an assault rifle. So he has his child in in one hand and an assault rifle in another. And the tweet says, "I believe the ideal man can hold a baby and slit a throat at the same." time. So you know how everybody is always talking about like toxic masculinity? I think this is just stupid masculinity. This is so stupid. What possessed you? To, what possessed you to do this? <laughs> he, has a, he has an assault rifle in the same picture with the, with the infant. Like why are you doing this, bro? Uh, oh man guys seriously i really i have legit tears in my eyes i i don't know where to start <clears throat> because this is <laughs> this is just so ridiculous like i don't understand that i don't understand that he knows how ridiculous this looks because have you guys let me put it to you this way right you can tell when someone is trying way too hard and you i i'm willing to guarantee i'm willing to bet money that most of you that are watching this video ran into an individual that tries too hard like i i'm trying to think of, of an example like have you ever so for those of you who are who are black who are african-american right have you ever had like a, a white person that was on their like uh, malibu's most wanted type shit and they were trying so hard to fit in they were talking in ways that they don't usually talk so you look at them as being corny because they're trying too hard to fit in because they are around like with a group of people that they aren't like usually around and they aren't comfortable so they're like trying to like overdo it and then in turn they you view them as being corny that's how i see this <clears throat> Like he just, he looks like he's trying too hard. Like he's trying way too hard to be masculine. And also, I just, I just have to ask him, what hood booger sh are you up to where you feel like you have to have an assault rifle to protect your child? Like what in the Liam Neeson do you have going on in your life? This is not taken. With that being said, if you are involved in activities that would require you to have a firearm of this magnitude then maybe you need to reevaluate your life maybe you shouldn't have kids because you're obviously putting them in dangerous situations but guys i'm willing to guarantee that that's not the case this is this is just him trying to look tough but in turn he just looks fucking corny like this was the funniest thing when i first saw this i cried so hard it's so funny he just looks like a tryhard man he just looks like a tryhard and you know what i don't even know how i'm gonna say this but 
I truly feel bad for that child. I feel bad for that child and I feel bad for any future children that this man may have a hand in bearing. Like I I really do feel bad for all of these all of these potential kids that he may have because keep in mind this is the same guy. This is the same guy that said he will not simp for his daughter, which is just which is just weird to me. Like who who says that? That's my answer. I'm going to run my my situation exactly how I want to and generally when I do that, that's when I have the most happiness let's say in my life so that's all and you would want that for your daughters yeah yeah I, I'm, I live my life unapologetically on my terms so if my daughters that are overly spoiled and and educated in every way and have friends all over the world and world traveled in the best schools in the world if they have a problem with me at the end of the day then they can kick rocks too I, I, I'm not gonna simp for my daughters I'll love them fully mm -hmm. but if they grow up and turn into a person that doesn't want to get in line with me or at least look here's my goal as a parent teach my children how the world works give them the skills so they can live on their own terms and give them choice. If they choose not to make me part of their life after I've given them those things, I've still succeeded as a father. You heard what he said, right? He said, if his daughters do not also get in line, they can also kick rocks too. I am not going to simp for my daughters. Huh? Like, what are you talking about? If you have kids, you aren't just gonna dismiss them and tell them you need to go kick rocks because they don't wanna fall in line. Also, Another thing with these, with a bunch of these red pillars, him especially, when they talk about having children, it's all about the finances. They never, ever, ever talk about just being present as a father, spending time with them. Everything is financial. In that clip you just saw, you said, you know, my kids are, are gonna be spoiled, they're gonna travel, they're gonna have this, they're gonna have that. This man did not say, I am going to spend like all of the time that I can with my children. Those words did not leave his mouth. He said nothing about being a present father. And I bring this up because he also said that if he could have a hundred children, he would. There is no way that you can be a present father with multiple kids. Nick Cannon has even expressed that it's hard for him being everywhere at one time is just not feasible and it's just not possible. So don't get it twisted. Just because you can provide for your children financially, that shit does not make you a good father at all. Kids do not care about money. Most of the time what really matters is just you being there. That's all, that's all they care about. They remember the birthdays. They remember the holidays. They want to remember you being around. If you and if you aren't, and you're just spending money. First, of all, do you really think a kid is going to appreciate going to these random countries and experiencing all of these things? No, they're kids. They don't care. At that point, it's going to seem normal to them. They aren't really going to care. But if you're not there, yeah, that's what they are really going to care about. But I'm sorry, man. This guy is just. God, this guy is just corny, man. I, and can you stop sitting like that? I know I said this at the beginning of the video, but can you stop sitting like this? For the love of God, sit perpendicular to the f Why are you like this? Why, why are you like this? I can't even f take you seriously. Why are you crooked? Why are you crooked? Straighten up and talk. You don't have to sit like that. You're, you're, you don't look more masculine. You look stupid. You look even dumber with that gun in your hand while you're holding the baby. I don't even know what else to say anymore about this picture because it's it's just stupid. It's just dumb. I believe that the ideal man can hold a baby and slit a throat in the same day. What activity are you doing? Why is somebody gonna press you while you holding your baby? What's going on? Where where do you live? Where, do you have fucking ninjas coming after you 24 seven? Help me understand, Justin, help. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. This is just hilarious. This dude is so corny, man. Please, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I know this was a quick video, but I just wanted to talk about this real quick just because I thought it was hilarious. So, yes, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Really helps out with the channel. Follow me on all my social media platforms. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch. Join the Discord, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.